Today's project is a simple garage door opener for a garage that has one impulse sensor. So we send one pulse to start or stop the door and it will toggle between opening, stopping and closing. The heart of the module is this little ESP8266. That's a, a very small thumbnail sized uh, module. I'll be programming it using this uh, little programmer because uh, it doesn't have a USB connection itself. Uh, these two parts can be bought together on uh, uh, AliExpress or similar for, uh, for a couple of euros together. Uh, you can also buy them locally for a little bit more. Now, if that is the brain of the module, this is the muscle. So this is the relay module. Uh, as you can see, it fits uh, ESP8266, and it will control the uh, door. On my garage door, I have a power source that is a 24 volt AC output. So I'm powering this. Uh, you might be able to see a little black thing uh, under the connector. That's a rectifying bridge. And then feeding that into a power module that will uh, make it viable. Now, let's take a look at the code uh, that powers everything. Uh, it's uh, uploaded to GitHub. It consists of two files, uh, the boot file and the main. And the boot file sets everything up. It uh, assigns uh, the LED, the onboard LED, and the pin for the relay. Uh, you can set up the Wi-Fi uh, uh, password here. And uh, then it has a method to connect uh, the device to uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, it just sets everything and then blinks the uh, LED a few times uh, once it's done to, so that you can show uh, or see easily that it's uh, plugged in. And the last thing it does is uh, call the connect Wi-Fi to connect to the Wi-Fi. The other file is where the magic happens, the main uh, Python file. Now, in order to control this, we need a web page with a button. So if you uh, uh, send it without any argument, arguments, uh, you will, uh, it will return this uh, simple HTML page with a button and a small JavaScript that uh, does the magic. So it checks if you push the button, then it will uh, send the, com the command uh, to the ESP module. Uh, which will then handle it. It will do this through the start door method, uh, where we first print operating door for the debug reason when it's plugged in here. Uh, it toggles the LED and the relay for 500 milliseconds on and then back off again. And then it returns a hard coded JSON string with just success true. So when we have an incoming request, we first uh, look. We'll do the necessary setup and then look if it's uh, an operation that we should uh, toggle the door. And if it is, it will uh, run the start door method, uh, otherwise the HTML code. And then we add some uh, HTTP uh, basic things and send it on. Now the main code is we'll first set up a socket of course, uh, bind it to port 80 and start listening. And then we'll start the main loop. And this uh, web server runs in a non-blocking mode because the ESP8266 tends to drop uh, the Wi-Fi connection if it is, um, the Wi-Fi is uh, not accessible. So we first check that the Wi-Fi is still connected, otherwise connect. And then we check if we have an incoming uh, request. And if we do, we run the handle request. And then we blink the LED and wait 400 milliseconds. And we run the loop again. Uh, now this is to slow things down with the LED. So the final result, well, it works. You can find the link to the GitHub repository in the description. And feel free to uh, like and subscribe if you want.